arms going off, the drawbridge has... Oh, it's got, I missed it again. Every single time I miss it, the boat's going through. Uh, that will be us again tomorrow on our journey back. Now, you're getting some tips, aren't you, uh, from Jeff and Martin. Hello. Hi, yeah. I'm, I'm Martin. Hello, Martin. Hello, Jeff. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jeff. Right. Tell us about yourselves before you give us the tips. What do you do and where are you from? Well, first of all, we're from round here. Right. We're next-door neighbours right. and uh, both of our back gardens back onto the canal. So you, you say that you, you, you think you heard us arrive yesterday because there's a bit of a racket going yes, on. Yes, it, it sounded like there were some uh, people who didn't know what they were doing. There was a lot of hammering trying to get the moorings in and it looks like we found the culprits now. <laughs> uh, but we didn't smell any cooking. No, no. Well, we thought we'd eat out last night, and then in the event when we actually got here, we were too, we were too tired, so we, we didn't even eat, did we? We had two packets of dry roasted nuts. That was it, <laughs> didn't yeah, we? <laughs> that, that was our dinner. But we had a lovely spit roast thing at the, um, the, the, the pub we were at yesterday. Oh, the Hotwood House, the chicken there. It was, uh, it's, it's famous all over the Midlands, yes. isn't it? They very yeah. kindly bought some out at the end of the show, and we, we had that, and Andy, our engineer, did and that. I was full after that. That was, that was nice. Yeah. Well, on your next journey from here up to the uh, wharf, you've got two stopping places for refreshments. Right. You've got the Yacht Club at Earlswood. Uh, where you could tie up, and a little bit further on, the old Bluebell Cider House. Now, this has been, a, yeah, people are saying this over and over again. I can hear, is this worth a stop off? If I had to choose just one to stop, which one would it be? Cider. cider. <laughs> yeah, good, good choice of beers and cider. Yeah. Right, well, that's, that, that'll suit us both then. We will, we'll head on. Plenty of mooring room as well. Right, where are we going to get some water from, though? Because now I've persuaded him that we need to fill up. Uh, we'll we'll get the hose pipe <laughs> down when you finish this. Yeah, we can we'll, get some out of our garden. We can get you some water. Oh, look, lovely. There we go. Look, we're sorted. Everything is good to go. So, what do you do normally then? Is, it, um, you, you've, is well, this where you both work? We, we, we work for Solid Hall Council. Right. Uh, and if you didn't mind, Caroline, if you could have a little plug, we're both cycle instructors. Right. We've been doing a, a learn to ride course today at Hatchford Brook School in Solid Hall. Uh, but what we'd like to do, if we could, if we could just promote, we've got two further courses happening on the 16th, which is tomorrow, and the 20th at Castle Bromwich Junior uh, Youth Club and Community Centre. So if anybody would like to take their kids along for a Learn to Ride session, there's fully qual qualified instructors on hand uh, to help teach your kids to ride, and it's totally free. So is this like, because when I was at school, we had the cycling proficiency test where you'd get a little transfer to put on the back of your bike, you got a certificate. Is this similar to that? Uh, it's pre-cycling proficiency. Uh, cycling profici proficiency is now called bikeability. Okay. Uh, and it is a national standard where children are taught to ride on the road safely. But this session tomorrow and next Monday is more for for kids who can't ride, who perhaps are learning with stabilisers at the moment, and they just need that little next jump to help them get pedalling. Help them on the way, absolutely right. And do you have a website? Uh, well, we've got a phone number, uh, which is, if anybody wants any more information, it's 0121 709 7000. And if they want any more information, the actual course runs from 11 o'clock till 1. And that is tomorrow and next Monday. That's 16th and the 20th. That is lovely. So get along there then and take part in that. Right, so when we set off, are you going to be sitting there filming us, doing all sorts? Uh, it might be worth doing, yes. It's always good to see a little bit of fun on the canal, and it sounds like you're having fun on the canal. Well, this is going to be like yesterday when somebody stopped off and uh, you ran aground. That wasn't my fault, that wasn't. I'm too busy talking, and before I knew it, the front end of the boat was straight up the back. Always an excuse, but he's got a good, he's done really, really well. Before you set off, if you fancy a cup of tea, we'd gladly serve you on board. Bless you. Thank you very much, both uh, Jeff and Martin. Nice to meet you both Thanks this so afternoon. Thank, Thank you very much for coming down. Thank you very much for coming down. Right, we've got... Uh,